Hey everyone, this is Ed Gutowski. I'm going to be your English 1C instructor. And what I wanted to do was just create a welcome video, which I sort of introduce you to the class, talk about the textbooks for, for the course, and then, you know, pose any other questions that students might have. So let me talk a little bit about English 1C. English 1C is a super fun class. English 1C is just a blast, whether I'm teaching it online or on ground. I mean, there's just no way that you can't have a good time with English 1C. So English 1C essentially is a course that focuses on two things. It focuses on rhetoric and argument. And really at around week two, we'll get into the regular and argument part of the course. I wanted to make week one kind of fairly easy uh, and then kind of kind of assess where we might we need to work on your writing. So there's a short writing assignment uh, that's due at the end of the week. But let me talk a little bit about the textbooks for class. So here's the here's the textbook uh, for class. It's called Everything Is an Argument. Uh, I've been using this book for the last ten years. A uh, really positive impact on students. Students really are able to easily access the ideas. It really helps them understand how rhetoric and argument works. It's a simple way to introduce students to kind of some key concepts like logos, pathos, ethos, and fallacies. And then there's a couple other readings and some small assignments that we'll use with the textbook. So the first novel we're going to read is a book by Sinclair Lewis called It Can't Happen Here. Uh, and this is kind of an interesting book. Uh, Lewis wrote this book in the 1930s as there was kind of the rise of Hitler and Stalin and fascism and communism spreading throughout Europe during the Great Depression, Lewis kind of posed the question of what would happen if we got a dictatorship that sort of emerged in the United States. Um, it's an interesting novel. Uh, what's happened is uh, it's become really popular in the last couple of years. Uh, again, a uh, good, really good lesson plan that's with this. Students are kind of engaged. The premise of the novel is really actually interesting because it just proposes what would happen if somehow in the United States in the 1930s uh, a dictator was able to come into power. So uh, that'll be a lot of fun when we get into that. Then the second novel we're going to look at is Rihanna's Diary, which is uh, a new book that was recently discovered. Uh, it's a diary that's com been compared to Anne Frank, but a young girl wrote about her experience uh, growing up in Poland, first as the Germans occupied Poland and as the Russians occupied Poland. So it gives us kind of a unique in insight into World War II and the Holocaust. And what I found is that students really appreciated, um, you know, looking at a little section that dealt with the Holocaust and looking at the diary, got positive feedback on it, so I wanted to use that again. The last book, which ends up being one of the more popular books that I've used, is called The Fire Is Upon Us. And this is actually about the debate between James Baldwin and William F. Buckley uh, in the 1960s. Baldwin is a hugely influential African-American writer um, and really can book and really give us insight into issues of race and racism in America. Hands Down was uh, voted kind of the most popular book. Uh, students were really looking forward to it. We'll kind of end the semester with that book. We also will read Shakespeare's Henry V, and Henry V is epic because Henry V, if you boil it down, really comes to it's a play about war, politics, and rhetoric, and it's about a young prince who becomes king and basically masters the art of rhetoric as he's going to war. Uh, students really like it. It's a great play. I know that Shakespeare can be challenging in a, just alone in a ground class much less uh, for an online class, but I've been using this ever since I went online. Students really were able to understand the lectures. It was pretty engaging, and they wrote great papers, so I thought I would continue with that. And the last book we're going to look at is the Siegel Reader Essays. And uh, this was a series of essays that we'll look over that uh, argument students, again, uh, really like this book, like the arguments, so it's a lot of fun. So... I want to just make sure you know what the textbooks are. I know it may seem like a lot, but just trust the process because in the end, everything works out. Um, and like I said, so week one is really pretty easy. All you need to do is basically send me a welcome email. There's a set of poems that are going to be the foundation of our class. So I want to 
have you kind of look at those poems, pick one, there's a discussion board, and then just a short essay. Uh, but like I said, English 1C, it's going to be a really fun class. I'm looking forward to seeing what your ideas are. And uh, if you have any questions, just shoot me an email. But our class is going to be a lot of fun.